In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to run zone coverage in MAD 23, and it is going to be out of the 46 defensive playbook. Now, if you want to get my entire 46 defensive ebook, we go over a lot of the different formations in the game, including dollar, nickel, 3 3 cub, 3 3, nickel over, big nickel over G, dime normal, all that stuff is in there. If you want to get access to that content, um, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to do so. It'll get you access to all of my different offensive and defensive ebooks. So, the coverage we're talking about today is, I think, really the best form um, and most adjustable form of zone coverage that you can play. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the nickel 3-3 three, three formation, and then you're going to basically sub out and then sub back in all of your uh, starting players. Whoever you want in, you're going to go ahead and sub them out and then sub them basically right back in. And what this is going to do is it is going to allow us uh, to have the best personnel possible that we have, and it's going to also allow us to do some unique things uh, with packages that are going to make this really, really effective. All right, so we've subbed everybody out. We've subbed everybody back in. Now what we're going to do is on the packages right there at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, we're going to flick our right joystick until we get the package um, safety at the Nickelback uh, package. Now, I think I did forget to sub this guy out and sub him back in, but whatever, it's fine, okay? And then from a coaching adjustment perspective, what we're going to do is we're going to put our flats on uh, 25. Our curl flats are going to be on 5. And we're just going to come out in the cover two, and we're actually going to audible down into the 3-3 three, three Cub Tampa 2. Now, what makes a 3-3 three, three Cub a really versatile defense is really this nickel corner. You can always kind of control where he is, and he's going to be a big strength for us defensively. And then with the packages that we just did and some of the adjustments that Madden uh, made to zones this year, um, it's going to make this really a pretty good coverage. So this is essentially a double Mabel or roll concept. We're going to be rolling our coverage into a double Mabel bracket so that we can very, uh, very effectively force our opponent to have to throw the ball into the middle of the field, which is where our user is. So the setup is we're going to blitz our user. We're then going to put the short side of the field safety into an outside third to the short side of the field. This is why we use that safety nickelback package. Then we're going to take the middle of the field safety and we're going to put him into a middle third. We're going to take the outside cornerback that's on the wide side of the field. So in this example, it's the right side corner and we're going to put him into an outside third. And then we're going to put both of our linebackers into curl flat zone. So as you can see, this is what this play art is going to look like. Now what makes this such a good play um, or such a good defensive design is it, they can't really throw the ball to the sideline. It's really hard throw uh, to throw this to the sideline and consistently catch it, especially if you have the abilities, which I'm gonna talk about real quick. So from an abilities perspective, what do I like? I like to have deep out zone knockout on everyone back here. So everyone has deep out zone knockout. So the corners have deep out zone KO and the safeties have deep out zone KO. The safeties also have mid zone KO. And then the corners, if you want to give them flat zone and mid zone KO, that's even better, um, especially if you're playing strictly zone with this. But what you'll see here is this 25 yard cloud is going to do a really good job of defending short side corner routes if you don't press. You don't want to press them. Um, and if you just look at what we're doing here, we're pushing everything back to the middle the field. Here we have one, two, three, even four guys that are going to defend um, so we can really take away short side field floods. Now over here, what's really interesting is this is something new, but basically if you try to flood the wide side of the field, if you have a middle third there, he's going to take that streak away, and then you're going to have this guy able to take away that corner out. So it's really good for stopping uh, wide side of the field flood. So let me give you another example. I'm going to go over to the gun bunch real quick. And I want to show you um, a couple plays out of this. So let's say that your opponent is running bunch. Typically, you're going to flip your formation. So we'll flip our formation so our nickel corner travels. Still, everything is pretty much the same. So what we'll do against bunch is we're going to put both of these linebackers in purples. Um, now, what's interesting is bunch is a little, a little bit different, but essentially still the same. So we're going to outside third that wide side corner. We're going to middle third the wide side safety, and then we have that 30-yard cloud with that outside third coming from 
the short side same. So you see this is what the coverage looks like. Exactly same coverage, different formational strength. And you'll see that it accomplishes basically the same thing. My user would be guarding the in route, but as you can see, it takes away the floods on the wide side of the field. Now, let's say for example, um, let's say for example that the bunch was to, to the short side. A lot of people like to run short side bunch this year. So if they're gonna do something like that where they're gonna run short side bunch, then all we need to do is we're gonna still flip that Tampa 2 uh, if they do flip with us, put those two purples out there, and now we're just gonna roll the coverage to the short side of the field. So you see this is what it looks like now. And now what you'll be able to see is this corner rest can be taken away. I'm gonna be lurking over here and it takes away one of the most popular concepts in Madden. Now, again, that deep out zone knockout should be able to you know, guard that. You shouldn't really have any problem with that. Now, the last little component to all of this uh, from a defensive schematics perspective is how do you blitz out of this uh, as well? So what I like to do if I want to blitz you is we're going to basically create uh, almost the same look. Um, so it's going to look just like this. Now, again, we know short side clouds are really good. So we're going to roll the coverage just like this. And we know that short side cloud is going to do a really good job. Um, another thing we could do, though, is we could do it just like this. And now, you know, you've got a kind of a roll concept that looks like this. So you can do either way. Um, and this is going to get you that pressure that's so valuable. Uh, and then you're going to be able to kind of throw them off guard if they're sitting five out. That's how you play zone coverage in Madden, a real simple way to play it. Um, you really want to keep those cornerbacks. You don't want to press in zone. Um, if you want to walk the safeties down, uh, be my guest to do that. But you don't want to press those outside clouds. Otherwise, they, they won't play as well. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire 4-6 defensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to everything over there, including all of my ebooks and all of the updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active.